Hi guys, welcome back. I hope you're all doing well. So I am now 39 and a half weeks pregnant and I just suddenly had this massive panic that I hadn't filmed all of the pregnancy and baby videos that I wanted to make before this little one makes their arrival and everyone seems to think that he's going to come early, which I'm not so sure about myself, but it's kind of made me think, oh my god, I need to get my button gear and film kind of like the last few videos that I wanted to do. And one that was really popular um, last time round with Archie was what is in my hospital bag video. Hello everyone, welcome back. I hope you're all doing well. So if you regularly watch my baby videos then you may have already seen my what's in my hospital bag. So if you haven't then I will link that below for you and of course it will be linked at the end of this video as well. But if you've just stumbled across me or this video because you're wondering what to pack in your baby's hospital bag then hello welcome I'm Kate and I'm currently 39 and a half weeks pregnant and um, like I said I've just done my hospital bag one so you might find that interesting as well um, and today I'm going to show you what is in the bag for the baby so on the top I just have this really cute little pram blanket I think this one is from um, TK Maxx it's really really soft and it's got little sheep on it um, and it has a little mint trim around the edge and it doesn't really fit in the bag and we'll probably just end up popping this in the car seat ready for taking the baby home um, I should just say at this point as well because you might not have watched my last video we are hoping to have a home birth um, but it doesn't always work out that way so everything is packed and ready to go to the hospital in case we need to um, but yeah this is going to be his pram blanket and then this is the bag you may have seen this in a Primark haul that I did a few months ago. I found it in there in the baby section. It was nine or 12 pounds, but I just thought it was really lovely. Um, very unisex, so you could use it whether you're having a boy or a girl. It's just gray with little white polka dots on it. Um, and it's just great for taking into hospital, I, I think. So I'm just gonna open it up and show you everything from, you know, what's in the top. So the first thing on the top is this gorgeous little cardigan. This is from Primark and I just think it looks so expensive um, for something that was probably about £10. Um, it's knitted, it's white and it has little ears on the hood. Um, it's in, um, I think it must be a newborn size. Um, it says up to £10 anyway. But it's just really soft and cosy and I thought it would be nice. It's kind of part of the baby's going home outfit. So... Um, even if it's fairly warm, babies still need to be kept quite warm because obviously they've just come out of a snuggly place for nine months. So we've got that. I also have some muslins. I'm taking in, I think there's two here, but they're so handy for so many things from, you know, putting over your shoulder, for cleaning up sick, um, just a million different uses. So I'm taking in two of those. These are just ones from, I think they may be from Mother Care or Asda. I'm not sure. Um, I'm also taking in a bib. Now, I doubt I'll really need this, but my first son, Archie, was a very sticky newborn. He brought up a lot of mucus, and I'll go on to that in a minute, but we got through so many outfits in 24 hours that taking in a bib or two would probably be a good idea. These are the Tommy Tippy ones, and they're great for feeding um, because they have... Um, like a high neck around them so they don't get all the milk and everything um, like down their chin and neck and on their clothes so they're really soft as well so I'm taking in one of those um, and then I have some little hats these came in a set these were from Primark as well but they're really really nice um, white with grey stars and plain grey and they have the matching scratch mitts now basically everything that the baby is going to be wearing pretty much has built in mitts into it I don't really like scratch mitts they come off every five minutes but I thought I would just take them just in case they don't really take up much room so I'm taking in those um, and then also I have another little hat which was knitted for us um, by the lovely lady that runs um, Blue Bunny Boutique, um, it's an Etsy shop and I will link it below for you. So I'm probably going to take in this newborn size one as well because I think it goes really nicely with this little outfit which may be the baby's coming home outfit if we do go to hospital but I think it's going to be too big um, but I thought I'd take it just in case. It's the Zara um, knitted bottoms which you may have seen in my baby clothing haul. I'll link it below for you if you want to check that out. Um, they're so cute and so 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 soft I love them um, and this is the matching 
jumper. You probably can't see it in this light, but it has a star on it and it has knitted buttons. I think I might have to wait a while before this actually fits the baby, unless he's a lot bigger than I'm expecting. Um, but to be honest, it's just best to keep them comfortable in a sleep suit and like put a little cardigan and hat on, in my opinion. But if you also want to put them in a full out on outfit, do it. Do what you think is best and what you want to do for your baby. That's what I always say. Then I was going to take in the baby's full um, sort of grooming kit that we've got for him. But in the end, I realised I don't really need to do that and it takes up a lot of room. So I'm just going to take in a little, very, very soft brush um, in case he has hair like his brother did. Um, not that I'll probably use this, but I've got it just in case. Um, and the set is from Mothercare, if you're interested. Um, next thing I'm going to take in, a bit controversial maybe, um, are some baby wipes. These are the Huggies Newborn Wipes. It says that they are safe from day one. Um, I also worked with them a few months back and learned loads about them and stuff. And I would feel really comfortable using these on a newborn. I am also taking in cotton wool, um, just because the midwives may not allow it like I don't know that they can tell you you're not allowed to use baby wipes but anyway even if I don't end up using these in the hospital we will be using them from fairly early on also obviously need to take in a bunch of nappies I think some hospitals maybe provide them for you I don't think ours do but it's good to take in some just in case um, I may even put a few more in my bag but I think I've got something like 12 to 15 and that should cover you for about 24 hours um, but if you need more, if you're going to stay longer, people can always bring you things. So that's about the amount that I am planning on taking. This bag also comes with a little changing mat, which is really handy. Um, it's very simple, very basic, but that's all you need really. Just something that's wiped clean and that fits in the side of your bag. I'm also taking in some nappy bags, not so much for nappies and not like you're going to be, you know, keeping hold of them and taking them home with you. Um, just for any clothes that have been sicked on or pooed on or anything gross like that you can just pop them in these bags and they're not going to touch anything clean that's in the bag when you're going home also you could just take in a big plastic bag like I did in my hospital bag and that would also work but these ones are good because they're scented so just make it smell a bit better and then on to baby grows or sleep suits and vests so I'm just going to get these all out at once and you may be like what <laughs> I have six sleep suits and six vests. With our first little boy, Archie, we got advised to take in um, three or four, and he got through those within a few hours because, as I said, he was just bringing up loads of mucus. So um, his going home outfit was worn in the middle of the night and all things like that, so it didn't really like work out great. So this time I'm taking in six to be on the safe side. Also, I have probably about four newborn sizes and two naught to three because you don't know what size they're going to be. I'm not expecting to have a really big baby, um, but you you never know, do you? So I'll just quickly show you. A lot of these were actually Archie's. So we have this little one, which is from Debenhams. It's a Junior J one, a stripy one. This is the matching, well, the one that came in the set with it. Like, look at the feet. There's, they don't even have legs. They're so cute, it's so small. So they should be like really tiny. Um, this one, <laughs> Look at it, it's ridiculously small. Um, I can't remember where this is from, because this was Archie's as well, but I think it's probably from like a supermarket like Asda or something like that, or Sainsbury's. So a star one, another star one, as you can see, this is a little bit bigger. So this is, this might actually be um, Mother Care, and I believe this is a 0 to 3. Just a bit bigger in case it's got really long legs or something. But again, you can always send somebody home to get you more stuff if you need it. And then this one's bigger as well. This is from Next. And again, it was Archie's. And then just doing the same for vests. Four very small ones and um, two slightly bigger ones. They're just very basic. This is a little one with circles on. And then I've mainly gone just for plain colours really. All white ones just to keep it nice and simple and they go with all these little outfits and things so there we go and then for some reason under that there was another little <laughs> sleep suit with clouds on so that's really tiny oh my gosh can't believe there's going to be a baby that fits in these i really really can't look how small they are so that's all the clothes that's everything out of there 
and then in the front I've just put lots of um, cotton pads because as I said I'm going to take those in just in case. You may also want to take in with you, you know, some pseudo cream or bupanthin or something like that, but really they shouldn't need that on their skin in the first few days of life, so I'm not really going to take any of that in. Um, and all of the things, like I said, from the little, you know, grooming kit, like the thermometer and all of those bits and pieces, they will have in hospital, obviously, so you don't need to take those in. And like the nasal aspirators and things like that, they're, they're better to just keep at home, ready for when you come home. Um, and also, it might be nice to take in a little soft toy or something with you. I think that is just about everything that we're taking to the hospital for the baby um, and I hope you found this video helpful if you're trying or thinking about packing your baby's hospital bag at the moment. Like I said I'll leave my hospital bag video below for you or when this video finishes it should come up on the screen ready for you to click straight onto um, and that's it I'll be back with another video soon thanks so much for watching everyone bye